At the Division of Colon and Rectal Surgery here at GW, uh, we treat a, a wide variety of, of disease processes, whether it be hemorrhoids and uh, fissure disease, all the way to colon cancer, ulcerative colitis, and Crohn's disease. Um, I really feel that our strengths are associated with the um, colon cancers um, and rectal cancers. Here at GW Hospital, we were the first um, hospital to do robotic rectal surgery, robotic colon surgery of any type. Um, you know, we're definitely trying to push the envelope in terms of applying new technologies to help our patients. Traditional open surgery had us standing at the bedside for hours, um, bent over, um, digging in a hole. Laparoscopic surgery had us standing at the bedside for double the amount of time, digging into a hole um, in a flat field. When we're doing robotic surgery, uh, we can actually see the cancer very closely. When I do open surgery, I'm this far away from the cancer, um, looking down into the pelvis, seeing what I need to see. Uh, it's sometimes difficult to actually see what we need to, to cut out. And yet when I'm with the robot, I'm this far away in three dimensions in high definition. The visualization is incredible. An example would be, would be when we're doing rectal surgery in the pelvis, so that area is a cylinder. And if we do it laparoscopically, we're sort of carving into a flat two-dimensional plane. While with the robot, I can actually see this cylinder or cave so that I can take out all of the cancers, cancer as well as hopefully preserve nerves. Um, other hospitals um, can provide different services, um, but I feel that our hospital provides everything under one roof in a cutting-edge manner. Um, and it's something that we've done, and it's traditionally done here at GW for years. So I think that's important when a patient takes a look at it. Is, is a hospital just now advertising that they're minimally invasive, or has a hospital um, demonstrated that in terms of um, outcomes, in terms of research that we've done, as well as in terms of the doctors they hire and the support that the hospital gives? And I think that this hospital has been very forward-thinking in terms of both minimally invasive and robotics, and I think that the, the patient benefits from it.